the legislative branch and all the government agencies that are responsible for creating the laws on the premises of the United States of America. The legislative branch of the U.S. government is called the Congress. It consists of two parts, the Senate and the House of Representatives. The Congress meets in the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, D.C. The members of the Senate can propose an idea to become a law, and this is called a bill. After both the Senate and the House of Representatives pass a bill, it goes to a president. If a president agrees and he likes that idea, he would sign and that idea, that bill becomes a law. However, if the president doesn't agree, he or she might veto that bill. However, if the president vetoes a bill, it might go back again to a Congress and the members of the Senate and the House of Representatives might vote again in order to override it. Also, the members of the Congress can make some adjustment to a bill. The U.S. Senate consists of a hundred members. There are 50 states in our country and every state sends two representatives to a Senate. A senator is elected for six years and there are no limitations as to the amount of terms that a person can serve as a senator. The vice president of the U.S. is the leader of the Senate. The Senate has certain responsibilities and let's take a look at those responsibilities. So the Senate is responsible for approving president's nomination for cabinet members. That's number one. Number two, U.S. Supreme Court justices. That's number two and other important positions. Also, the Senate must approve any treaty that the president makes with other foreign countries. Let's briefly take a look at the requirements for the U.S. senators. So number one, he or she has to be 30 years of age or older. He or she must be a U.S. citizen for at least nine years and that person must be a resident of the state that that person represents. The House of Representatives consists of 435 members and every member is elected for two years. However, the amount of representatives from each state is different. It all depends on the number of people that reside in the state. For example, if we want to compare Alaska and California, the amount of the representatives in the U.S. House of Representatives is quite different. And it's only because the population of California is bigger than the population of Alaska. So let's take a look at the duties of the U.S. representatives. Number one, the House of Representatives introduced laws about taxes. And number two, very important one, so the House of Representatives regulates the process of the impeachment. The leader of the House of Representatives is called the Speaker, and in a case, the president and the vice president can no longer serve. The speaker of the House of Representatives becomes the president. And now briefly, let's take a look at the requirements for the U.S. representatives. That person must be 25 years of age or older, a U.S. citizen for at least seven years, and a resident of the state that he or she represents. As a summary, let's take a look at our civics test questions. Number one, the House of Representatives has how many voting members? And the answer is 
435. Question number two. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? And the answer, for two years. The next one. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? And the answers could be because of the state's population or because some states have more people. Question number four. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? And the answer, the speaker of the house. And the last question for today, what is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? And the answer is Nancy Pelosi. Thank you for watching this video and we will see you next time. Goodbye.